we're going to be going over return statements. Um, and what a return is, is it all it does is it returns something. It's really that simple. And why it's so powerful is because sometimes we need to get certain objects or we need to return certain uh, numbers inside of the game. So let's create a function and we're going to say add three numbers. We have number one, number two, number three. And what the heck? So, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say return number one plus number two minus number three. And now we're gonna call this function inside of a print statement. So add three numbers. And now we gotta pass in three numbers. So we're gonna say 45, 92, 38. And let's see what we get. So we get 99. So that is what it just did. It, it returned number one plus number two minus number three. That's what it returned for us. And we get, um, we get 98. So, or 99, <laughs> we got 99. So let's change this up. Let's, let's make this 109 and see what number we get. So now our number three, we get 28 now because now our number three is 109. So it returned really what we wanted. Number one plus number two minus number three. All right, so I hope that makes sense. We're gonna go into something a little bit more advanced. Don't, if you don't know what for loops are, try not to pay attention to that. That's gonna be another video, but we're gonna create a function and I like creating these functions because it's it makes your code clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say search for barrels folder. We're gonna search for barrels folder, okay? And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to say, and this uh, in this function, we're going to say for child in pairs. So don't pay attention. If you don't know what for loop is, don't try not to pay attention to the for loop. But essentially what we're doing is we're um, running through the workspace um, and getting all of our objects in the game. So if you don't know what an object is, an object is a folder. An object is a part. Anything that's inside of the workspace is an object. So we're getting an ob we're getting we're getting a folder which is an object so let's say in pairs workspace get children and then we're going to say if child dot name is equal to barrels return child so this is our function so let's print it let's do it let's call it in a print statement and see what see what it prints out search for barrels folder if you don't know my barrels folder is just named barrels so we're calling search for barrels folder let's see what happens and it printed out barrels so it printed out barrels so it returned our barrels folder why is this important let's create another function function destroy children okay destroy children so we're gonna say uh, we're gonna make this this a variable this function a variable okay because what's important about this is anytime we want to have access to this barrels folder all we have to do is call this function so we're gonna say local uh, barrels folder is equal to and then we're just going to call our function search for barrels folder and now we're going to say we're going to do another for loop if you don't know what for loop is it's fine um we're going to say for child in pairs uh barrels folder and we're just going to say child destroy and now we're gonna call this function destroy, oops, destroy children 
Now let's call the function and see what happens. Oh, it, uh, hold on. Table expected got instance. Oh, I didn't put get children. That's important. So I have to put get children so it gets the children of the barrels folder. All right, so now let's call it. And so now what happens is I have my barrels folder right here, but nothing's in it. So it got all the children of barrels folder and completely destroyed them. So the takeaway from this is that we searched for our barrels folder and we returned it in this function. So now we have access to this barrels folder whenever we call this function. So right here, we did local barrels folder search for barrels folder. We now have, this is our barrels folder. This is our object and our object barrels contains children, its own children. And what we did is we just destroyed those children. So you can probably see how powerful this is. Um, but yeah.